Moore is with us now in studio. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Moore, you have been very consistent uh, throughout all this in your message calling for the immediate removal of the government. Now, how close are we to that point this evening? Well, there's certainly a time limit put on it now because uh, John Gormley and the Greens have handed in their notice. Um, it would appear that they want to serve out the notice. I don't think that that is in the best interests of the country. I think that at this time when we have very critical economic issues to be dealt with, I think that the country needs a strong and stable government that has so, a mandate for so, four so or five years. So they should years. go and they should go now. Now what about this concept of stability and, and acting in the national interest? Um, we have this four-year plan, we have the budget and we have this IMF deal to sign. Where are we if we have an immediate dissolution of the Dáil now in respect of those three things? Well, first of all, we don't have a four-year plan because no four-year plan has been published yet. Secondly, we don't have a budget because we haven't seen any details of a budget. And thirdly, we've got two messages from the government about the IMF deal. One is that they've applied for it. The other is some kind of uh, an implication that uh, the deal is, is already done. I think that what we need to have is we need to have a government that has a mandate for four to five years that can see through a four, year, four to five year plan for economic recovery. And we need a government that has the authority and the confidence of the people that can negotiate with the IMF and with the European institutions institutions in dealing with that. But what about the mechanics of what would happen next? I mean, we're looking at, what, a period of some three weeks of, of political limbo. Now, what would happen to those negotiations with the EU and the IMF? Well, we would be better off, I think, having a general election now and having a conclusion to that within about three weeks than to have the kind of dragged out scenario that we're likely to have uh, as a result of the announcement by the Green Party this morning. So we stop those negotiations, do we, for a Well, period? I think there could be discussion. Send them home? I, I think discussions can continue, obviously, at an official level. But remember, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, uh, I think it is far better that discussions are concluded with the new government that has a mandate from the people and they can act with authority. So, so, so at this stage, those negotiations would continue, say, with the Secretary General of the Department or maybe the Minister? Is that the case? You don't have confidence in this government, but you do have confidence in whatever department to, to continue the negotiations. And well, then you would sign the deal. Is that satisfactory? Well, what we've been told by the government is that what is taking place are technical discussions. Uh, they've told us yesterday that the application for the stabilisation fund has just been made and that the political discussions arising from that and the political negotiations have yet to commence. So we can only take them at their word on that. In any event, I think it is far better that in, in the interests of the people of the country that the discussions are conducted and concluded by a new government that has a mandate from the people and that can speak with authority on behalf and of the people. And you would be happy to put your name on that deal, your, yourself or your, 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 your partners in government, Fine Gael. It, would it not be infinitely more appropriate that this government would sign off on, on that deal, given that, I'm sure you would agree, they are the party that brought us to this point? Well, that's one way of looking at it. And you can say, well, you know, they brought us, they made the mess of it, let them clear up the mess. The problem is, is that I don't have confidence in them clearing up the mess. And I think what needs to be done at this stage is what is in the best interests of the people of the country. I don't have confidence that a government that's on its last legs, that is now just serving out its remaining days, is in a position to negotiate with authority with anybody. And secondly, I very much doubt if from the IMF's point of view or the EU's point of view that it is a good idea from their point of view to conclude an agreement with an outgoing government when it will have to be implemented by an incoming government. Moving on very quickly to the budget. Now, have you had sufficient access to the books? We know that you've been in and out of the Department of Finance over recent weeks. Are you happy enough that you are in a position, yourself and your potential coalition partners, to, to put a credible budget to the people? Well, we, we certainly haven't had the kind of access that we need to have. And I, I think that the degree to which opposition parties have been given access to the books, I think, has been greatly overstated. But I certainly have the confidence that if the Labour Party is part of a new government, and we will be seeking to lead that new government if in, in a general election situation... But you're in disagreement that we with Fine Gael about this well, six billion figure, aren't you? And are, you've come out on that again today. We, we, are, separate, we are separate political parties. Uh, the six billion figure, remember, came from a period of time where it was believed that front-loading uh, the adjustments to the budget uh, were necessary in order to calm the markets. The calming of the markets doesn't arise now because Ireland is out of the markets and is likely to be out of the markets for some time. So therefore, the budgetary arrangement that now has to be concluded has to be one that allows for growth in the economy so what for sort the of creation figure of jobs. Then would you be advocating? The Labour Party has advocated an adjustment figure of about four and a half billion. I spoke about this uh, in the Doyle uh, two weeks ago, set out in broad terms the way in which that would be put together because 
the key to Ireland's economic recovery is creating jobs, growing the, e growing the economy. The reason that there is talk of a 15 billion adjustment is because growth in the economy has slowed down. And your reaction, uh, it's pretty predictable, but I put it to you anyway. Michael Larry today saying that the onus is on you, uh, on you and Fine Gael to, to, to seek broad budgetary agreement on, on, the, on, on measures now um, heading into the budget, that you are the government waiting in the wings and therefore you should have an input into this budget in the national interest. Well, of course, Michael Lowry has been supporting the Fianna Fáil government uh, for the past uh, three years. And I think it's a bit late in the day now for him to be offering that kind of advice to the Labour Party in Fine Gael. All right. Very good. Thanks for joining us in the programme, Mr Gilmore.